Alrighty, welcome back. Joining me on another video here at the factory. Six mojo packs. Gonna save the theatrics and just open the mojos out of these 2021 Bowman Chrome Mega Boxes. We know the base packs. There is nothing you can get out of just those besides some rookie cards and base cards. There's no parallels or anything of special. And the big ticket items are in here. So let's see what we can go ahead and pick up. Pedro Panetta, decent middle middle road. I just bumped to either a pink or a purple. I believe it's a pink back there. It was getting excited. Gonna be careful with these guys. Basically gonna see if anything is worth grading. Alexander Ramirez, another first. And we do have a pink out of 199. A Tristan Casas, not a big, huge name everyone's going after. If you're a Boston Red Sox fan, of course he would be. A pink parallel, 199. And how you can tell with grading, it is definitely off-centered, unfortunately. But try to zoom in. There is these little dots here on the right side. Basically, if you can get three and a half, three is not bad, but then you'll see down here on the bottom, see how there's a little bit more? There's the, the one that's actually sh shaded, I guess, near the, uh, the border there, but there's four. But you'll want to basically get three and a half, I think, is the prime centering for, for cards. But otherwise, not a bad card out of 199. We'll put them off. And his own little exclusive pile right there. We have another first. Milcar Perez. For Seattle. And Max Meyer. I believe. Yeah, all three of those are. Let's uh, rearrange here. Real quick. We'll put our first. And then our base. And then our big tickets. They deserve the middle. Next pack. Basically, there's two packs of these in each Bowman Chrome Mega Box, in case you don't already know that. And it's basically what you're paying, paying for. I think two packs right now in the market, secondary market, is going for around 30 or It's either $30 for two packs or $30 for one pack. I believe it's Bobby Witt Jr. <laughs> I can't get over the face on this card. I mean... How can you not just gravitate towards looking at that face? Anyways, big name that everyone also is looking for. There's a lot of big names here and there that have kind of swayed around throughout the season. And that is one of them. Not his first, of course. We do have a first for Christian Santana for the Detroit Tigers. And a Dawn of Glory insert. Jihuan Be? Jihuan Be try to properly pronounce that that is an insert you can get its own pile blaze jordan big name for boston everyone's kind of talking about and michael toglia another base colorado rockies halfway through after this pack i was gonna hold on i was gonna do four of these Mojo packs, but I decided to. I was going to keep the last mega and just do four, but I was like, you know what? You just never know what's lying in that box. I was going to keep it for next year. Anyways, continuing on, Reed Detmers for the Los Angeles Angels. A Nick Gonzalez, Pittsburgh Pirates. We have a blue. Out of 150, so the numbers are going down. Jeremy Penna. It's a decent name for the Astros. This one's definitely off-centered a little bit again. So definitely kind of looking to see if any of these cards are worthy of grading for the season. Basically, if you're to send cards out, the slowest slow boat. I've already seen Blaze. You know, you'd be getting them back around... Is this a 
So it's a different shine almost, I feel like. Let's double check here. Yeah, maybe it's just the reflection of the purple or something jersey there. I don't see, sometimes these numbers are really difficult. I don't know if that is considered just, I mean, they're all refractors. I'm not sure. Anyways, you've already seen them. But as I was saying is if you were to put cards out at slow rate to a grading service company, you'd be getting them back around the start near spring training time. Right now, I, I believe, you know, I think every company's about eh, two to three months. So we're in the first week of November here. So maybe a little bit before, depending on how backed up they get. You never know. Can't predict the future. Better be safe than sorry. Nolan Gorman is our first leading off card. I'm trying not to touch the front of these too much. This seems very thick. But anyways, we have a manual Beltre first. I don't believe, I'm not quite sure he has any family ties to Adrian Beltre. But I could be wrong. Never know. Just trying to see if there was anything back there. Doesn't mention anything. Anyways, off to the first pal he goes. Blaze Jordan with a Dawn of Glory insert. And a sliding Maximo Acosta. And we do have a first of Kevin Maid. Not quite the cub we're looking for, but a decent enough upbringing for their depleted, which soon to be depleted, farm system. They, well, I, I guess I'm actually saying that wrong. They might have an increase, you know, how that works out. When you get a, rid of a whole bunch of big names, they uh, get a lot of picks. So, we'll see how that works out for the cubs. Definitely a big story. The trade deadline this year. Alexander Ramirez, we've already seen him. We've seen Bobby Witt Jr. already. And we've also seen Christian Santana. And we have not seen Emmanuel Rodriguez. That is I think, a relatively high prospect for the Twins. That is his first. And a Shea Wingliers. I'm just going to stop there. Anyways. For the World Series winning Atlanta Braves. Congrats to them on this year. I think they had less than a 1% chance. I think I saw a stat for back in July of winning the World Series. So that was interesting to see. It's always like that though, right? Everyone predicts 80, 70, some 90 games. And I think they were mid 80s for, for the expected wins. And they... They win the ship. Tyler Freeman, a Braden Shoemake, and unfortunately, we received a Dawn of Glory Spencer Torquin. I mean, not unfortunately, but you know, it'd be better to just not have an insert of Torkelson, Torky, but we'll put him off into the insert pile. A first of Milcar Perez. We've already seen and running out mr irrelevant is max meyer which we've already seen so that'll be it definitely our two parallels here would be the hits of jeremy pena and christian cassis so that's what came out of that six bowman chrome mega box mojo packs at least to give you an idea of kind of what you're up against if you decide to buy any of those on the secondary market everyone is selling just basically packs only kind of give you an idea your your first your stack of first parallels you probably get yeah maybe two parallels out of six maybe you never know you know it's all luck and odds but thanks for watching i'll catch you on the next video hopefully you enjoyed this one take care